Okay, so we want the length of BC here, okay, and we've got two triangles stuck together. And what usually happens when we've got two triangles stuck together and we want something on one of the triangles, so in this case we want BC, we need to use the other triangle first, the other one. And of course, what we do then with this other triangle is look at the side that links the two, links the two triangles, so BD, yeah? So we work out what BD is first, right? And if we can work out what BD is first, then we can do BC. So if we look at BD, right, we can use SOCARTOA. And of course, that's going to be the opposite, isn't it? Opposite that angle, 45, there, right? And um, opposite, yeah, 45. This is going to be my hypotenuse, opposite the right angle. And of course, my adjacent is here next to the right angle and angle. Now, because I want that side BD, okay? I want BD, and I want to work out what that is there. So if I use SOCARTOA, um, well, I want A, and I can use H, yeah? So I want A using H. So A and H is cos. So cos of 45 equals to A, which is my side BD, yeah? So I can put BD in it if I wanted to, over hypotenuse, A over H over 4. So then to get BD, I'm just going to take that 4 up there and times cos 45. And, you know, um, it says don't use a calculator, but if we don't know cos 45, we can just work out what that is. So we get 4 times root 2 over 2 equals BD. And then, you know, 4 divided by 2 is 2, isn't it? So therefore, BD is equal to 2 root 2. Okay? You can check on your calculator, can't you, when you times that, that is 2 root 2. So this is 2 root 2. Now I know that, I can now focus on this triangle to work out BC. Okay? Um, so, BC, so if we look at this triangle, this is my opposite, isn't it? That angle there. This is my adjacent, and this is going to be my hypotenuse, because it's opposite the right angle. Now, um, I want BC, so I want A, and I know H. So again, it's going to be cos, isn't it? It's going to be the same as that. So cos 30 equals A over H, right? So my A is BC over H, which is 2 root 2. And again, you know, cos 30, well, we'll work that out in a minute, but to get BC, we take the 2 root 2 up, do you agree? Times cos 30. Cos 30, let's just check what that is. It's root 3 over 2. Right, so we have 2 root 2 times root 3 over 2, plus BC. You can type that into your calculator to check the final answer, but to do it without a calculator, those 2's will cancel, yeah? 2 on the top, 2 on the bottom, and you've got root 2 times root 3, which is the same as root 2 times 3, so that means BC is equal to root 6.